Well, what would you do if there was no running water in the tap or nowhere to get food? You might take these small things for granted until you lose them in the wake of a disaster. Tonight, we're presenting the last part of our series, Answering the Call, featuring Missouri's involvement in Gustav Relief. KOMU 8's Cuba Vols takes us 80 miles west of New Orleans to Baton Rouge to show us why Louisiana still needs Missouri's help. Imagine waiting three hours to get gas, or how about staying at home at night because of curfew? That's only if you still have a home. Some have been crushed by falling trees. Sounds a bit like science fiction. That's what can happen when Mother Nature gets angry. An unwelcome guest came to the town of Baton Rouge. His visit was brief, but the images he left, they will never forget. Most hurricanes that I remember, they come through at night. So you hear the rain and the wind, but you don't actually see what's going on. That storm passed through the daylight hours, and you got to kind of witness the awe of Mother Nature as, as she came through here. When Gustav left, residents came home to down trees. Hurricane Gustav, blowing at over 100 miles per hour, left the town of Baton Rouge without electricity, destroyed houses, and blew away trees. Although the hurricane left less damage in Louisiana than Katrina, for the state capital, it's one of the worst storms in its history. The Katrina experience helped people in Baton Rouge better prepare. When Katrina hit, when other parts of, of the South were beginning to go in recovery, we were still in rescue. They were ready when the skies grew angry again. They, they evacuated very well, they got the word out, they provided transportation for those that needed it. It will take weeks to clean up the damage, but years to forget. Anything like this before? <laughs> mm -mm. No, I haven't. I've been here with Anything like this before? Gustav has taken lives of 29 people in Louisiana. Today, 11 days after Gustav hit Louisiana, still about 65,000 people are without power. Almost half of them in East Baton Rouge Parish. Thanks a lot, Kuba. So far, the state and federal aid has added up to almost $500 million. The total will only continue to grow.